Hello everybody, today I'll discuss an interesting intravenous pyelography, interesting IVP image showing a very classical finding. Let us see this IVP image in front of you. What do you appreciate? If we take a careful look, it is you can see there is right sided hydronephrosis, dilatation of the proximal ureter, dilatation of the proximal ureter and at the level of around L1, L2, L3, you see there is medial deviation of the ureter. What do you think is the diagnosis? Let me repeat. We see right-sided hydrouretronephrosis. There is proximal hydrouretronephrosis with medial deviation of the ureter at the level of L3. This is a classical description of a condition called as retrocaval ureter, which is also called as circumcaval ureter. I want you to take a look at this anatomical image, which will give you an idea what is happening. Now, if you see carefully in this case, Ureter at the level of L3 is seen to turn medially, it goes posterior to the inferior vena cava and it goes medial to the it goes medial to the level of the pedicle, around the level of the pedicle of the L3. And this causes right sided hydronephrosis. This is a problem with the inferior vena cava development. During development, if there is persistence of the right sided subcardinal vein, which is normally present ventral to the ureter. So you will see ureter passing behind the vein. So if we see ureter passing behind the inferior vena cava, this can be confirmed on a CT urography as well. If you see the ureter passing behind the inferior vena cava and on IVP films, we see medial deviation approximately at the level of L3. This is a classical retrocaval or a circumcaval ureter. Thank you.